Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 for Odin! Playing as Shjeland. We are slowly making progress. I'll admit I'm not going as fast as I would have liked. And the diplomatic situation is getting a little out of control. Sweden is certainly starting to get a lot stronger. Norway being independent means they're probably going to die to Sweden in the near-ish future. England may not be pushing north, which is weird, but instead they're pushing south and they're owning most of France. So I mean, ugh, this is not great. What would be really good is to ally somebody that England hates, like, let's say, a Burgundy. If we allied Burgundy, I feel like we'd be in a pretty good spot to obliterate the English. Out of curiosity, how would you feel about that? You're not as far off as I would have thought. If we could improve opinion with you, there's actually a good chance you'd want to do this. Let's start improving relations with Burgundy on the off chance I want to break off with, let's say, Brunswick or Verden. Pick up Burgundy with all of their little vassals instead, and usually Burgundy is falling apart by now, but because France was dying, they actually can grow. So a good strong Burgundy would be one way of distracting the English on the mainland, and if the English leave their troops behind, or sorry, leave their troops to go across the English Channel, I can just swoop in and take London. If they stay behind, then I just have to beat them in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but at least Burgundy can go and deal with the mainland and also possibly Castile. All of that would make some sense. In the meantime, though, I'm going to get ready to go ahead and fight Scotland again. Might as well, right? Let's get our troops in position. Holstein joined a trade league led by Ragusa instead of Lübeck. That doesn't make a lick of sense. Pyre Republic. We can go for a frequency of elections. Uh, do we want to have frequent elections where we lose maximum absolutism, but our election terms are shorter? What this means is it doesn't take as long for us to build our leaders up to a 666. However, it does mean we lose Republican tradition very quickly. Alternatively, if I did consolidation of power... It takes longer to build them up, but I build up Republican tradition uh, over the course of their term. Which I think means we can keep them for longer, too. Um. Oh. Hmm. I'm not sure which I want, honestly. If we lose Republican tradition, then what it means is... Uh, because we're doing frequent elections. If he loses quickly, then that means I have to get rid of my high-level guy more often. I think I'm going to go for consolidation of power. I'm not sold on that. Or rather, I'm sold on it to the extent that I did it. But that's about it. Uh, how are we doing on money right now? We're making a bit, which means I can kind of increase my uh, missionary maintenance a bit. That's fine. 0.05 is no big deal. Let's just go ahead and make full progress. So now we're making a fair bit. 3.7% missionary strength located here. We're at 80% religious unity, which is not too bad. It still is enough to increase my stability cost by 20%. I think we underestimate how freaking nasty that is. Truth with Dithmarschen has ended. Okay, we have a claim against them. So if we wanted to, we could actually kill them. Who are you allied to, out of curiosity? Odenberg and Utrecht. Okay. Well, we don't have a truce, so this isn't true. The Platinum would not defend? Ooh. There then we could have join. Ooh. Wait a minute. That's interesting. Um, we could totally kill Dith Martian and then turn them into that vassal I said that I wanted. Should we do it? Because if the Emperor is not going to defend, that's actually huge. Because the Emperor is allied to a few big folks, but no co-belligerent co there? I mean, that's, that's massive. This is a good opportunity for that. Change of plans, guys. Head back home. I think we try for it. I think we go ahead and take the po the Peasant Republic and we turn them into a little vassal, then we make them into a march, and whenever we get bored, we just feed them all of this in the HRE. Make them super strong, give us the buffer territory we're looking for. I think so. And only having two allies means you're not really that difficult for me to kill. And Verden will help, which is even easier. So, I mean, sure. Oh, look at you, raising your maintenance, realizing that in a moment you're about to die. Uh, we can reduce our missionary maintenance again. I know I'm not making very quick progress, and that does mean that we have uh, some uh, unrest in Holland, which is right here. But we recently had an uprising anyway, so they're not going to be a thing for a while. So I'm okay with it. We can go slower on our missionaries and not worry. Is fine, is fine, is fine. All right, Dith Martian. So if I call in Verden... Utrecht won't be very strong. They've got two provinces, it looks like. 
And Oldenburg's a slight issue there, but meh. Nah, we can win this easily. Very easily, in fact. Just wait a little bit longer. England is no longer a valid rival. They eclipsed me. Aw. All right, well, um, that sucks. Do I lose some because I got eclipsed? No. I'm not going to rival Brandenburg. I'm going to rival Scotland. Yes, it's perfect. Let's rival the Scots. I plan on killing them anyway, right? That'll get me some extra power projection. Speaking of which, we should probably do something about that to make sure it stays nice and high. Uh, Sweden. No. Bohemia, you can't do anything to me anyway. I'm going to send you an insult. Haha, you can't reach me. Thank you for the free power projection, suckers. All right, do we just go ahead and declare the war then? I think we just go ahead and clear the war. Let's call in Verden. They've been useful. Brunswick, how many more favors can we get out of you? You wouldn't be willing to join no matter what. And I don't know why. They're in debt again. Gosh, you know, if you just stop spending more money than you've got. Out of curiosity, it says the check mark they would be called in, but it says they wouldn't join. I'm going to do this. Let's go kill them. Oldenburg and Utrecht. Good. Okay, so they're dead. Humiliate Scotland, fine. Still no sign of the Palatinate, good. Uh, how many troops do we need behind here? Three. So let's go ahead and take the cannons behind. And a couple of infantry. And the rest of you guys, let's go to Oldenburg. Nope. We cannot get over here because they are blockading me. Well, I'll fix that. Get over here. Wait, what did we lose? Did we lose our ships? They retreated. Okay. Well, we didn't lose anything. No, 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 no. Stop. For the love of God. This is how you die. Get over here. Okay, we didn't lose our ships. He had to retreat. Yeah, they keep they keep doing their mission, and they're being stupid about it. Go and repair. There we go. All right, so now we can cross over from Verden. Oldenburg appears to actually already be in a war. The Swiss War and the Burgundian Conquest of Bern. The Burgundians are attacking Switzerland. That's an interesting choice. Okay. Sure, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and use the Transport Navy to just go ahead and deploy them, since there's no one here home at defending. Holstein entered into an alliance with Hesse. It doesn't really matter. You're being sieged down by Trier. Tell you what, why don't you guys go down to Utrecht instead? You dock up for a minute because you have some ships that are highly damaged. Take the troops. Go here. Religious zeal. Oh, good. We get that again. That's nice. Let's go ahead and land here. And then let's deploy you over here as well. We need the general. We can go for the missionary maintenance cost reduction. Let's do it. That means we shouldn't be spending nearly as much money on missionaries anymore. Although somehow we're still losing a lot of money. Good lord, we just we just keep losing it, don't we? They're not making it easy on me, I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay, apparently we're not using the navy. I'm pretty sure that I said I wanted to use the navy, but we're not. Okay. Well, if I were to mothball, let's say, our transport navy for now, we would lose some progress on them as far as, like, health, but at least we'd save some cash. That would be enough to get me close to the positive. There goes the Siege of Dismartian, so they're done. Okay. Uh, if Trier can siege down Oldenburg, I'm sure they're going to want to just peace out. So we're going to go ahead and siege some land here from Utrecht. I'm going to somehow need to get across. Khera, if you want to give me any military access, I would be very appreciative. There we go. Now let's get to Utrecht. Founder troops, die! Got him. Nine soldiers here? Dude, that's a lot. Can I just get you to peace out? Utrecht's allied with France? Dude. Uh, okay. Well, um, I guess we leave behind the cannons and some of the infantry and the rest we just pull back for the moment. We're gonna have to accept that we have uh, more than our relationship slots. An election! Yes, let's keep this guy a little bit longer. Lose 13 Republican tradition? Oh, it's because of the terms! Oh, I should've just done shorter terms then. I didn't realize, it was, I forgot that it was gonna change the, um, the Republican tradition cost. Oh, that sucks. All right, Dithmartian, if I were to turn you into a vassal. Norway and Denmark would be peeved, but that's it. No one else would be a problem. Okay. 
fine with me. And over time, we'll feed you Holstein, Hamburg, Sox, Lomberg, Lubeck, and Mecklenburg, and so on. We'll have a nice, super strong buffer. Super strong. We're not spending anything on missionaries. I'm just still losing a lot of people. Um, there are still some troops floating around, mainly Oldenburg's troops. If I lowered my army maintenance, we'd be at a bit of a risk. I guess the real question is, can I go raiding? Anywhere. Anywhere at all. Because I could use some cash. We can't hear. Yes, there's a little bit over there. Not much, but some. Oh, come on! And take the loans, I guess. This sucks. Well, in theory, it's going to be easy enough for me to get out of loans eventually. Just got to wait for the next big round of um, pirating. We do not need these forts on anymore. Let's go ahead and turn these off and save some cash. Do a little bit here. 49 more ducats. Rebels broke Denmark. Portugal has a golden era. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Okay, we're actually getting a fair bit of cash all of a sudden. But these guys have already been pirated, and they will be for at least another four years. Okay. Looks like that was about all we could do at the moment. Utrecht, I would really like you to just give up. Would you be so kind? Oh. Trier, how you doing in Oldenburg? 29% chance. Okay. Maxed out with Burgundy. Burgundy's all like, hmm, you're okay, but hmm... You have too many diplomatic relations. That makes sense. I mean, with all the allies you got and all that stuff. Now, granted, if I actually take Oldenburg and, say, break up your relationship uh, with Burgundy, that might actually free up a slot so they'd be willing. Wouldn't that be funny? Be very funny, actually. I'm down for that. My uh, inflation's a little on the high side. Not, I'm not a big fan of that. Let's improve relations with some other folks for a minute. You checked. I really need to just stop. Oh, good. Burgundy's here to take Oldenburg. Okay, so they just saved them. You guys get over here and take them down again. There goes Verden. Never mind. Why waste the manpower? You're fine. Let's go and loot. Yes, loot the Dutch. This is part of the Netherlands, right? I don't remember anymore. Desmond enters into a military alliance with Kildare. That's fine. Denmark is allied to the Palatinate, the Emperor? That is a very interesting choice. One that I strongly disapprove of, but okay. We should get our navy over here to make sure that we get the extra... Whoops, Sweden declared war on Denmark. All right. Make sure that we get the extra um, siege progress. So does this mean that the Palatinate, the Emperor, is now at war? The Palatinate did not defend. They gave up on Denmark immediately. Hmm, okay. So this is what I'm talking about with Sweden. Sweden starts to get aggressive, and they're allied to Poland and stuff now, so we've got we've got a bit of a risk out of Sweden. Very dangerous Sweden. Can't do any raiding over here. There we go. You checked mine. Thank you. Okay, so if we sue for peace... ...with you... ...take war reps. Take money. I don't really need your trade. Stop by being allies with Oldenburg, I guess. Nothing else really matters, though. You can keep this. I don't care. Get out. Okay. Why take any damage on my forts? Or on my ships? When we don't have to. Tell you what, there is no good reason. Raise the missionary ruins. I just realized that the sound of opening this is different. You can't really hear it in the video, I don't think. But it is different. Um, it sounds a lot more like opening the religion screen in uh, CK2. Okay, Austria is the emperor again. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm going to lend my cannons to uh, Verdan's help here in Oldenburg with my general. There we go. That helps. You can go and protect trade in Lubeck again, which I apparently control, which is awesome. Don't want to get ahead of time in our tech right now. Uh, let's go ahead and do some more manpower in these areas. That gives me a lot. Sure. 
Sure, let's do that. It spends a lot of power, but that's fine. We could get some more barracks. I'll build one in Nordjylland. Why not? Canoga claim Cork. Ah, we need to get that back. There we go. Oldenburg's mine. All right. Verden wants it. Well, too bad. I'm not giving it to you. I don't. I don't care. War reps. Give me this. Trade power doesn't matter. Stop being allies with Burgundy. Free up a slot for them. And you're done. Okay. This means we should be able to go to Dith Martian and say, guess what? You get to be a vassal. Keep your claims. That's fine with me. I'd take your money as well. Coalition, no big deal. Perfect. All right, we've got Dith Martian under our control. Now, if I go to you, I could designate you a march. Scotland is no longer a valid rival. Gosh, this just keeps happening, doesn't it? Um... We can rival England again. And we shall. England is significantly stronger than me. <laughs> oh, we're going to need to find a really good attack of opportunity against them. All right. So with that done, now we can transfer back over here and get ready to fight Scotland. Um, I don't want to fight Desmond because they're allied here and that doesn't make a lot of sense. Kildare would be easy to do. We probably want to fight Tyrone and Scotland that away. Uh, one of my subjects has high liberty desire. Shocker. Let's go ahead and pull you off. Begin improving relations. I don't know if I want to designate a march that's disloyal. Broke alliance. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons for them not to like me right now. I admit this. But they'll get over it in due time, I'm pretty sure. I want to double check something. Before I do this, I want to make sure that we do not need this territory to form the achievement. Actually, wait, can we just check here? For Odin. Actually, does highlight this. Hang on. No. We do not need it. All of Britain and Scandinavia. Yes. Okay. So we are fine to turn these guys into a march. No threat there. All right. Designate a march. So this means that you should like me a little bit more. Or at least be a little more, uh, bit more loyal. You also get better national manpower, recovery speed, force limits, maintenance modifiers, and so on. Forts. Basically, you just become my military powerhouse down to the south. Welcome to the fold, Dith Martian. You shall be my punching bag. Hey, we can get Deus Volt. Let's do it. All right, that's done. So now we can get back on track with our admin ideas, but at least with Deus Volt, we should have a lot more claims. Look at this. Whoa, and there goes Denmark. They are dead. Okay, so if I wanted to attack, let's say, Sweden, we'd have to fight Poland and Mecklenburg. Brandenburg's still not willing to join for reasons unknown. They like Sweden, apparently. Um... But the Holy War does mean that we have less aggressive expansion, more prestige. Which makes it just that much easier for me to take everything I want. What's our aggressive expansion with England? 22. So we can take a little bit. Um, Burgundy does not hate me, but they still have too many diplomatic relations. I want to make sure that I am set to friendly with you to try and encourage good relations. Being friends with Burgundy could be very valuable. Very, very valuable. Who else hates England? Aragon and France. Also the Ottomans. Aragon wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, um, but they're too far away to be of much use, whereas Burgundy, with all their vassals, is of use. Go ahead and turn off this fort. Yeah, we're losing a lot of money. Um, okay. Would it make a lot of sense to transfer my merchant somewhere else? Not particularly. It still makes sense to try and force as much money up here into Lubeck as possible. I've got 27% control, which is not the absolute best, but we are still sort of outcompeting Lubeck at least a little bit. Eating Hamburg would certainly solve a lot of those problems. That would mean fighting a lot of people, though, the entire trade league. Fought Holstein. Austria's not willing to defend a lot of people. They're in a lot of debt. But yeah, fighting the HRE is going to prove tr pretty tricky for me right now. Mecklenburg allied Sweden. Interesting. That is a way of getting to war with Sweden without having to fight Poland, and I do prefer that. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, we're getting our troops transported back over into Ireland because we're going to have to fight some more people. Gosh, dang it. All right, that's it. Screw it. Quarantine. I'm tired of dealing with this. All of them are getting it anyway. Influenza just won't stop spreading. We might as well just embrace it and be done with the dang thing. 
All right, there's our troops. Uh, trade ship. Protect trade in Lubeck. Galleys. Anything you can raid? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and just sit tight, I guess. Uh, we need to get claims against England again. Well, no, we don't have to. We actually do have Deus Volt. So anytime I see an opportunity to attack, we can do so. But not unless they're in a really big war. We can do a Holy War directly with uh, Scotland. I think what we're going to do is do a Holy War against Tyrone. We still have claims against both of them, so we can take a fair bit of land on stacking nicely on top of the Holy War and get a lot of stuff for cheap. So I do want to do that. Uh, do we do it now? We do have Scottish Separatists, but my troops are already in position. Yeah, I think we just do this now. Not going to co-belligerize Scotland. Let's just do a Holy War. And go get them. Looks like uh, my vassal wants to just jump on them on their own, which I find very odd. But okay, no, we can stack wipe that. Leave behind a troop. Let's move over here. How many troops do we need here? Three. Easy. One, two, three. The rest of you guys go up here to Ayrshire, and we're going to have to go and fight over Lothian and try to prevent Scotland from arming up too much. Heated debates. Ugh. Stop costing me money, dang it. Stop it. Why can I hand that off to Dith Martian? I mean, like, really? I can hand that to Dith Martian? Of all people. D how can Dith Martian even core it? Don't know. Do not know. You will be done in a little bit. We have very little missionary maintenance, which is one of the reasons you're not making a lot of progress. I really need to burn down this inflation somehow. We do not need another military advisor. I guess I wouldn't mind picking up the trade efficiency guy, but I don't have money for that either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get over here and kill these guys. Quickly, save them. Thank you. I don't want to lose more troops and stack wipe against Scotland again. It's so stupid. Why would you do this? All right, you win. Never mind. Never mind, you were fine. You did a good job after all. Uh, over here, I will leave behind an infantry and a couple of cannons. And the rest, we're going to go ahead and start carpet sieging here before they get much stronger. Wrong. Actually, let's leave behind one more infantry. There we go. Okay. Carpet siege time. This is the time where we just get to enjoy looting. And keep them super duper weak. Scotland is going to lose a lot. So what do we want to be able to take out of Scotland? That's the real question. I don't care about actually taking any of the Irish territory. That's a that's a red herring. The big thing was taking these guys. Taking Lothian, for example, would be huge and would not result in a coalition with England. Taking more than that, however, would. So all we can take out of the uh, Scottish here is their capital. But at least we cut off England. That seems fine to me. And we'll also break off any relationships wherever we can. Uh, you guys all need to jump over here, please going to back off because he knows that, that is a losing fight. Smart. Let's go up here. I know he's hiding in these islands. That's fine. You just sit there, man. I don't want to fight you if I don't have to. That's that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you come up over here. Uh, let's just loot. Since I know I can't take a lot out of Scotland anyway. At the very least, we can guarantee that England's not going to push to the north and they're never going to be able to form Great Britain. That's pretty good for me. It's not the absolute best, but it's pretty good. Oh, good, we can build things again. Nothing particularly valuable to me, though. Let's save the money so I can pay off my loans. Why do pirates care about loans? That's my question. What's a, pi a pirate will just say, no, I'm not paying it back. What are they going to do? You're pirates. Never loan to a pirate. All right. Dude, even Scotland can't join a coalition if we did that. If we did this, we would not actually have any coalition with England, but I don't think I could take any Irish territory and give it off to my vassal. So I think we'll just stick with this. I'm going to have you break off your relationship with Desmond. I don't care if you keep it with Tyrone. Um, and then we're going to take your war reps and whatever money I can get out of you. Which is 136 ducats and takes care of a lot of my debts. Thank you. That's good. Um, war exhaustion's still low, so let's go ahead and core it up. 
and you guys head back down home, and we're just going to finish up the siege and see what we can take. I probably will not be able to eat everything from them. But if I can get anything to my vassal and make them a little bit stronger in Ireland, that would be ideal. There we go. Got that. At the same time, what, what area are you a part of? This whole thing? I mean, if I took it for myself, I could get a whole new state. If we did this... England could join. So we can't. We cannot take all of it. I knew that might happen. Oh well. Um, I'm not going to make you a new vassal. We will, however, take all your stuff. Take your money. Break off your relationship with Scotland? Nah, keep it. As long as there's a relationship with Scotland, I don't know, maybe England will feel less inclined to just jump around me. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to make our vassal a little bit stronger. Alright, done. Cool. We got one province. We are slowly but surely killing it. <laughs> Ooh, it's taking forever. No, it's fine though. This is this is how it works. You play. We're playing as a small teeny weeny nation, so we need to slowly but surely make progress. Now, unfortunately, because I already know we have a lot of aggressive expansion with England, we are at forty nine. We can't even do anything about these guys now. So, yay! Um, what do we do? Deal with the Scots when they fire. Obviously, I'm gonna have you guys drill for a bit. Um, missionary maintenance is no longer relevant. I really want to pay this down, but that takes up power, and I don't want to spend my power. Three years ahead of time there, at least. Missionary strength plus 1.5% would make this a lot easier and cheaper. <sighs> Alright. Well, at the very least, I hope you got something out of it and you're happy. Dith Martian, we are gradually improving relations with. Brandenburg, I don't know what to do about you, to be honest. You're just not helping me. And I don't know why. That's the thing. It's not that you can't. You're giving me zero reasons. Also, interestingly enough, because you're allied to the HR, uh, the Holy Roman Empire, you will not join, even though Austria will not join the war. So what you're telling me is, because you're allied to the Emperor, you're never going to be useful? I think that's what I'm getting out of this. Huh. Well, um, what we're going to do then is build up some more troops. Get higher up on that force limit. Try to entice Burgundy toward us. Yes, we are very strong Vikings. You should join us. Also, we should be careful not to accidentally raid them because we want them to like me. Raided coast. Yeah, see, there we go. So we don't, don't want to do that, but even so. You're very close. Um, if, if I could just get a little bit more, if you would be friendly toward me, then we would be able to get Burgundy as, a va uh, as an ally, and that would be huge. I will happily drop Verden or uh, Brunswick in favor of that. We need to get rid of our military access with Helra. Because once again, I forgot. And it's costing me valuable dip diplomatic power. So let's cancel that. And then, yeah, it's just alliances and vassals. Okay. We could just annex these guys, but again, I don't really want to. I could try to force these guys to become uh, Norse. They would not like that at all, but if we did, we could get them to convert for us. Not a lot we can do right now. We're just kind of stuck sitting back and waiting. Is there an advisor that would let me uh, burn down my uh, inflation? There is, but not for cheap. I kind of miss having the estates. Those were good. And these are all two. These are all level two. I'm not paying for that. Ugh. Lost our claim on Lubeck. All right. Claims are optional at this point, but even so, we should get claims probably down over here. Just in case at some point I do want to kill them. And we could get claims down over here. But without the right allies, what are we going to do? Holstein's opinion goes up. National taxes. I'd rather have the um, Republican tradition, thank you. I don't care what Holstein thinks about me. It don't matter. Pomerania is no longer transferring trade. Well, that makes sense. 
We do still have the dominant control here, but not by much. We're more or less tied up with Lubeck. Anything I could do to screw with Lubeck would be huge. But we can't do anything at the moment. They're just too strong, boy. They're too strong. I should find a way to kill Holstein and hand that off to Dith Martian. That's what we should do. But we gotta sit back here and wait for these uh, Scottish Separatists to fire anyway. So let's go ahead and get all these troops up together. Let them join in on the drill. Norway is no longer a valid rival. Let me guess. Did Norway just get beat up by Sweden? Uh, I don't think so, actually, but there you go. Sweden's getting way too strong. You know, um, Muscovy, it would have been nice if you hadn't been so mean to me. We could have been friends. You don't like me at all. Poland really doesn't like me. Poland's allied to my rival, but we're also allied to your friend. Because Muscovy, I could use. Muscovy would actually make for a very valuable ally against Sweden. Heck, even the Livonian Order would be better than this. Yeah, we're just reaching the stage of the game where uh, we're now looking at fighting big powers. And without big allies, that's going to be hard. Oh, cool. A National Unrest Theologian who's cheaper. I mean... It would cost me more money that I currently don't have. So, I mean, you know, there's that, but... Let's turn off our forts. Just realize we're still doing that. That does help. I could pay off a debt. It wouldn't leave me with a lot of cash left, but, you know. Gets rid of one of them, at least. How's my corruption? It's not too bad. The overextension is the only thing that's really causing it at this point. All in all, we're still sort of okay. 13 infantry, 4 cavalry, and 6 cannons. All I really want at this point are just a lot more cannons. If we can get a really good cannon stack, then we actually would be able to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with some people like England. And stand a pretty reasonable chance against them. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we're, we're just kind of stuck at the moment. There's not a whole lot that I can do. I'm not making a lot of money. We really need to be fighting Sweden and Norway. And eat more land here. We really need to be preventing the HRE from becoming a threat against me. I really need Brandenburg to finally be useful. Oh, good. Uh, Burgundy's now willing to ally. Hang on. Let's do that. Thank you. And we're going to drop... Um, Brunswick? Verden? I like the Burg uh, Brandenburg. Let's drop Verden. We might feed him to the Martian later. You've been great. Bye. All right, we're going to end this video here. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time. All right, let's go ahead and see what I'm doing.